again YouTubers. So I'm sitting down today to do a video on my most recent fashion picks and I think I'm going to do this video just slightly different. I'm going to go through and show you guys the shoes and things like that and kind of talk about them and put a clip off to the side here one side or the other um, but the rest of it I think I'm actually going to talk about it as I try it on that way I can do that side panel that everybody liked on my Nordstrom anniversary sale haul that kind of told you how it fit how it ran what it was called I am not going to do pricing on all of the items because right now with the holidays coming up a lot of items are on sale, have already gone on sale, go back and forth. So I don't want to say this is $40, this is $80, and then when you go to look, instead of it being $40, it's now $80, or then it'd be the good side. Instead of it being $80, it would be $40. So I'm just going to go through and walk you through each item and kind of tell you about each item. The first item I picked up, and I have shown these already on my Instagram. Here's one thing, guys, is Instagram. If you do not yet follow me on Instagram, go over and do that. Here is why. You will see a lot of these things first. I do Instagram stories with a lot of try-ons. Like I tried a lot of this stuff on first and talked about how it fit. And Instagram stories, I can tell you guys like, oh, this shirt is on sale right now for this price. Go get it. Um, also, Instagram just in itself, a lot of times I post photos of things I'm wearing that day how I'm styling it, things like that. So you'll still see these items here in a haul video, but you will also be able to see photos of how I style them or try on sessions of items I just got in and if they're on sale right now or what deals are going on or things like that. So my Instagram handle is the same as it is here. It is LisaSZ09. Please go check it out there and we will show these things. So the reason I thought of that is because these shoes right here, these are Sam Edelman loafers. And I had talked about these because I had seen a pair that Totally Tika had worn when we were in Houston. And then Lauren from the Two Orchids had said she really wanted a pair. And when we were in the mall, she saw these and she picked these up and she loved them. And I just didn't want to pick them up then and then have to take them home and all that. So I ordered them when I got home and I did order these in an eight and a half. I will say I am typically an eight and a half in shoes and heels on booties or boots. I tend to go nine or a nine and a half because of socks and just how they fit and you can have a little bit more wiggle room. These are run a little bit narrow. They are true to size, but they do run a little bit narrow, but they're super, super soft and they have a lot of give to them. So that little bit of narrow is not too bad or too uncomfortable. The next thing I'm going to talk about are two pairs of booties that I picked up. I picked up one and I thought I loved it and then I saw another pair and so I picked up that pair. I'm only keeping one. I did talk about this on Instagram. I posted a photo on it and I asked, there's a poll on Instagram stories and I asked which one you guys liked the most. Um, so I will show you the two pairs. The first pair I picked up is this pair right here. These are from Vince Camuto and these are a nine and a half, I believe. Are these an eight and a half? I think these might be an eight and a half. Well, that's just interesting. I think they are. All right. That's interesting. So these are ones that have an elastic right through here. They have a lot of give. You pull them on. They have more of a pointed toe to them. And they have a little bit larger of a heel that's a little bit more narrow. But it is a black heel. Okay. And this was the first pair I picked up, which I really loved. And then I saw these and I thought, ooh, I think I need to see them in person to decide. Now, I love the print on these. And then I picked up these. These are by Matisse. Both of these are no longer in stock. Well, this is in stock at Nordstrom, but the other one is in stock only at Zappos, but I got both of them from Zappos. So this is from Matisse. This one is actually a little bit more expensive than the Vince Camuto. This one has more of a rounded toe. The heel actually has the calf hair going down it. This one is a zip closure. This one does have a wider heel. Now I'm going to show you both of these next to each other. Then I'm going to explain why I kept the one I'm keep or why I'm keeping the one I'm keeping. So this is what they look like next to each other, okay? I will personally say that I like this print a little bit better. I did a poll and actually this one won, but somebody brought up the best point. I had already liked this print, but somebody brought up the best point about this is the calf hair on this eventually is going to start to wear out and up. So this one is the one that is going to be kept. 
I love this. I love to just throw it on with a pair of leggings and it just makes it so perfect. Um, so I'm really happy about those and the other pair is going to go back, but I'm super excited about the ones I kept or I'm keeping. Last pair of shoes. These ones, guys, I am so excited about. I thought they were going to take longer to get to me. These are a Chloe dupe of the booties. Has more of a pointed toe. It has the buckles on the side. It has a very, very low heel through here. Three buckles. It does zip closed on this side. I got these in a size 40 because I know that typically when I buy booties in a size 39, they just get too tight in through here. And I knew this was a little bit tapered, so I went a size up because I would rather have it a size up and wear a little bit thicker of a sock. Now, these booties traditionally at Chloe are $1,500, I think it is, $1,500 or $1,700. And I love the look of them, but I just couldn't validate that because how long is this going to stay in style? Am I going to really, really love it? So these ones were $20 on Amazon and then $10 shipping. So they were $30, guys. And they are actually so comfortable. They're very, very well made, surprisingly, it seems to be. And I really and truly do like them. Um, it did take a little bit longer because they're shipping from somewhere. I think they ship from China, FYI. Um, so they did take a little bit longer to get to me, but I don't mind because I actually really love them. <laughs> Next thing I'm going to talk about was a bracelet that I got from BP. I did talk about this on Insta Stories. I ended up picking up a second one of them. It is by BP. I don't actually know what the name of the bracelet is. This is what the bracelet looks like. It is a cuff bracelet. It has, uh, it looks very similar to, it's a cable wired one. It looks very similar to what you would think a David Yerman bracelet would be. I actually got one and I have my David Yerman bracelet on, which is funny, but this is where I wear it. I have the one with the black stones to it right here. I've been wearing that pretty much every day with my David Yerman one. And then this one here, I got in the white stones. The white stones and the pearl are both still available. These are $16 right now. You can't beat that. I don't know if they're always $16. It's just cute little costume jewelry. But I did pick up the one with both the crystals and the black stones. I wear the black stones almost every day. Next thing I'm gonna talk about is a little pouch. I got another one of these. I love this. I already have one. I picked up another one for myself and one for my girlfriend, Dina. It has little eyelashes on it. How cute are these? It is from Stella and Dot. It has a few little pouches on the side for like credit cards. You can stick stuff in it. I carry around all of my like gift cards and all of my like store cards and things like that in this little pouch in my purse and I love it. And I just wanted one to have just for not in my purse every day. Next thing I'm gonna show you, again, another item I talked about on Instagram. All right, so I had, and my phone's in the other room. I have a phone case. I have this actual phone case. And I had ordered it off of Etsy from a store called the Baby Feet Store a while ago. This is what it looks like. I do have a pop socket on mine. I tried that loopy case, by the way. I haven't ever shown that in a haul. I have it back over here. I bought it and tried it, and I did not like the loopy case. I am definitely a pop socket kind of girl. The, the spot for your fingers, like I couldn't hold it with just one finger. I had to stick two fingers through, and then it was just awkward. I didn't love it. But I ordered this through Etsy and I absolutely love it. It is inexpensive. It is the cutest phone case ever. Awesome gift idea too. This one is going on my phone. I had had mine for almost a year and I cracked mine right here because I have a tendency to pull it off and on right there, which I probably shouldn't do. Um, but I picked up another one and I, sh I had tagged them in my post um, just saying here, because so many people had asked me about my phone case and I just tagged them in the post saying, you know, here's the phone case that I have and here's where you can get it and they had a, quite a few people order them and so they sent me this bag because they knew it came from my link how cute is this guys I am so excited about this little bag it's so well made it's like a really really nice bag to just throw some stuff in kind of carry things around but how cute another great little gift idea too um, it's just so stinking cute all right I'm gonna jump into these clothes back here and we're gonna see how it all turns out. All right, so the first shirt I'm gonna talk about is the one that I have in the beginning of this video and it is by Free People and it is called a thermal something. Um, this is what it looks like on. It has two different layers. You can see the waffle knit going through here and then it has the t-shirt material with the finger holes. 
It has a deep V neck, so you can wear a tank underneath it if you want to. You could wear it off the shoulder if you wanted to, however you are comfortable with it. Same thing on the bottom, it has the waffle knit to here and then the t-shirt runs down below that. It is super flowy and comfortable, great with a pair of leggings. I have on just a pair of moto leggings right now. I also purchased this in white. I will suggest to size down in this. Typically I'm in a medium and for oversized things I usually that I want to wear oversized, I usually purchase a large. I originally got the white one in a large, sent it back and got a medium in the white. And this one is a small, and I'm thinking the small is definitely the way to go. So the white one, as beautiful as it is, is going back just to be exchanged to get another white one in the size small. So definitely size down in this one. The next shirt is another shirt from Free People. This shirt, however, you cannot pick up at Nordstrom. You have to buy it directly from the Free People site. It comes in quite a few different colors. It has these gorgeous, gorgeous bell sleeves to it. It is the softest, coziest, like you could sleep in this sweatshirt. It has a banded edge here. It has a crew neck up towards the top. I have this in white and every time I wear it, people ask me, where did you get that? That is just so cute, so comfortable. I typically wear it with a pair of jeans, but I'm wearing leggings right now to try a bunch of stuff on. This top is also another one that I would typically buy in a medium. I ended up with it in a small because everyone did say to size down in it. I'm so glad I did because otherwise my sleeves would be huge, but it is very comfortable in through here. If you want it to be a little bit baggier in through the middle, you might want to size up or go to your traditional size, I guess more so in this. All right, this is another free people top. It has more of a cow neck, not cow neck, more of a boat neck type neck at the top. You can wear it off shoulder if you want to. It is asymmetrical down at the bottom. It kind of goes from one end down does have a nice slit, great for with a pair of leggings. It has the more bat wing style, longer sleeves to it. But once again, it's funny, I'm learning with free people, uh, I definitely have to size down in their items, but this is so comfy and so cute. Just another great little thermal to throw on with a pair of leggings, and it just looks like it have something different on than just a t-shirt. This thermal tee is from Nordstrom, and it is so, so, so soft. It's by a company called Babu, I think it is, B-A-B-E-A-U, I think it is. It has more of your like textured, almost waffle knit, but not with the crisscrosses in through the sleeves. Then it goes to just a really nice, soft, like fleecy type shirt. It does come up on the sides. It is, again, another item that's just great with leggings, longer in the back, super, super comfortable to wear. All right, so this next shirt is from BP, and I actually bought this one in a medium. I probably could have gone up to a large just to be a little bit more with leggings, um, but you guys know I love these little twist tie type shirts. They're inexpensive at Nordstrom, perfect to just throw on with a little jacket or a vest or something. And actually I have a vest here, we'll show you real quick. And it just makes it look like that much more pulled together. You can tie up your own t-shirts as well, guys. I'm just not very good at doing that, but just, how All right, so since I have the vest on, I figured I would show you the vest quickly. This is from Amazon. Yes, I said Amazon again. It is super cute. It's quilted. It has beautiful quilting, like just etched into it. And then also beautiful brown fake suede, like seeming gold hardware to it, buttons on the side. It is super great. Now keep in mind, again, I would wear this more with a pair of jeans. I wouldn't wear it with leggings, but it's super comfortable. It's nicely made. It has the sides have a little bit of give to them. Um, I'll tell you what size I bought in it. I bought this in a large. So I bought this t-shirt, which has this gorgeous, gorgeous pearl embellishment to it all over to the sleeves. It is just gorgeous. It is so cute. And I will jump to something else. Look, to throw on, I was going to say, with just like a cardigan and just a pair of leggings. I would typically like a longer shirt with that, but like with a pair of jeans. And it just, again, is a little embellished tee that really steps up your game. I did buy this in a medium. I think I would rather it in a large, so it might be going back to be exchanged because I feel like once it washes, it might be a little Next bit Next is this super cute, it's like a mock turtleneck. It's kind of like a sweater dress, but it's more like a t-shirt dress because it isn't as thick as a sweater. You can see it goes to right here. My pale legs need a tanner. But I thought this would be super cute just to wear around the holidays. You could dress it up with some jewelry, a cute vest or a scarf with some over the knee boots and just perfect. Actually, my next item, 
was something I bought to possibly go with this. I had heard someone raving about this vest recently. The dress I purchased in a large, and I will say I'm definitely glad I went to a large to give me some room, but this, how cute is this, guys? This is a little vest from Halogen, and it is pricier on the pricier side. It is cashmere and wool blend, but it is just super cute with this dress with a cute pair of over-the-knee boots and maybe a fun earring or a necklace or something. Just so cute for the holidays, even for Thanksgiving. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna talk about are these leggings. These leggings are from BP. They are under $20, guys. And if you have ever considered the Spanx liquid leather leggings, these are an amazing dupe. Now the leather ones, the pleather ones, whatever they're called from Spanx, are definitely not quite as shiny. This has more of a shine to it. But for the price, they are pretty close dupe. All right, the next thing is this sweater from Target. Yes, we're gonna talk a few things Target. I got this in a size large because again, I wanted it to be a little bit oversized. It has the big cow neck to it. It's not incredibly oversized on me. It has a pretty up and down to the side. It is a little bit longer in the back. It's so cute, just as it is with just a pair of leggings. You could throw on an over the knee boot or maybe a pair of booties or some flats. Next thing is this sweater that I got from Target as well. It's kind of neat. I sized up in this. I did go to enlarge. I originally bought it in medium and it just felt like it wasn't as oversized as I wanted it to be. It definitely is comfortable. It has that slit on the side and covers my butt again. It, I wanted it longer in the sleeves too. It has this really cool, it's got some red, some black, some caramel colored, and some gold flex into it. It's so comfortable, so cute. Again, another item you can just throw on with a pair of these leggings and you've got a whole out. The next item is this sweatshirt that I found in the sleepwear section. Yes, the sleepwear section of Target. And it's that Jillian and O'Malley It's sleepwear. It is a size medium. I mean, I'm sure I could have gone to a large, but it's so comfortable. I love the little asymmetrical in the front, but it's long enough that it covers my butt. It is so cozy and soft. It actually feels a lot like this Babu um, thermal top that I got. But just again, guys, these are such simple things. And oh, you know what I could do with this even? You could simply throw it on with these leggings and my shoulder. You pull the hood out. My hair is becoming a mess through this video, guys. With the vest, like, you're good to go. How, a little pair of boots or some sneakers, like a little pair of Adidas, like superstars. How cute is that? You're ready to go. All right, so next thing is this kind of shawl colored cardigan. It has the wider neck. I wouldn't typically wear it with a sweatshirt underneath of it, but I just wanted to put it on to show you guys. It's nice and long. It actually goes all the way down to my knees. I did buy this in a large because I love cardigans where I can just kind of go like this and walk around and be nice and comfy in them. Again, this is under $30. It's from that new brand. Um, it does not have pockets, FYI. That new brand at Target, but I love, love, love the color for the fall and into the winter. All right, so this next dress I do have on with my leggings. You could wear it with leggings. You could wear it without leggings like the dress I showed you earlier. You could wear it with a pair over the knee boots. You could wear it with a pair of booties. It is, I did buy it in a size large. It is under $30 and again, it's a Target, guys. This is so soft and chenille. It has a little bit of that more puffed up sleeve. The back of it has a beautiful cutout, which does not show your bra, guys. Your bra is far enough down that it does not show that. But how cute is this just for the holidays? All right, next on to jeans. These are American Eagle. This is called the Tommy Girl. They are up to my belly button. They do have a button fly. They are fairly loose, but not quite boyfriendy. They have the rips in the knees, nothing back through here. They are a little bit darker of a color, but I love them. I've already worn them with a pair of booties. And I do have another pair coming in in a lighter color that has way more distressing to them. But these guys are so soft and they're always running sales at American Eagle. All right, next pair from American Eagle are this pair here. They are the High Rise. These are Zipfly X Jeggings, I think they're called. These ones are pretty cool because they're distressed, but they actually have material underneath of them as well. So it's not as cool in the winter. I will say these I generally size up in. These Tommy Girl ones that I just showed you, I size down in. Just FYI, these jeggings do have a lot of give and a lot of comfort to them. The back of them are so cute. The heels have a little bit of distressing to it, 
but you could throw these on again booties over the knee boots anything and they're so comfy they had a sale that was buy one get one 50 percent off so I bought two jeggings and two Tommy girls, the one Tommy girl they just had to mail to me. This is the next pair of the jegging style ones. Again, high rise with a zipper to them. They have the distressing with the jeans underneath of them. These ones I bought in a short. So the length is much shorter, but I wanted that so I could give it a cuff or two and wear it with a pair of booties and they would be perfect. All right, next thing is on to Express. Express had a big, big, big sweater sale. I think it was 40% off all of their sweaters. This sweater you guys have already seen from me before. I have it in a really bright pink color that I love. It has the like fluffier sleeves. You can wear it off the shoulder, on the shoulder. It's so comfy and just like unbelievably soft. It's crazy. I do size up in this because it does run a little bit short and the next size up will be just like here. I wanna have it a little bit down. I wanna have more space off the shoulder. It is just such a great color. I had to have this one in the wine color. My girlfriend, Dean, I got it in the wine and in the mustard. I really want that mustard, but I don't need it. <laughs> All right, this next Express sweater, again, it's got a nice cowl neck to it. I actually love the side, how it goes over. I have a love-hate with this one. I bought it in a medium, which is the right size. A large would have been too big, but these sleeves, the like three-quarter length sleeve, I mean, I know I push my sleeves up a lot, but in the winter, I want full sleeves, so I think this one is probably going back. All right, so this sweater is the next one from Express. It has gorgeous, look how it is like, has that little tie going up through the sleeve. It has a little bit looser of a sleeve, as you can see there. It is super cozy and comfy. It has a really big, big wide cow neck. It has pretty sides to it and just nice stitching. Super, super comfortable. Again, I bought this one in a medium and I think a large would have been awkward. So this pink color is actually the color I have that burgundy sweater in too. This is more of a tunic style, lightweight sweater. It has the, sl the slit through the bottom, rounded around longer in the back. You can wear it with leggings. It has a nice round neck. It goes a little bit further. It's not quite a boat neck, but it's not a typical crew neck. Again though, I don't know what I think of this part. All right, so this next sweater is so cute, guys. It is a deeper V than typical, has good sleeves to it. I bought it in a medium. It looks like it's a large, but I bought it in a medium. I probably could have gone to a small. I like how it just has, it, wow, makes you walk, look wide that way, but has a much shorter front than the back. The back is so nice and long. I love, love, love the look of it, but I think I need to go down one size in this one. All right, so this shirt was a major bomb for me. I wanted to love this in the picture. That girl must have been so short. I mean, it's up to here. Even if I went up a size, it wouldn't be. I mean, I wish it looked like that. How cute is this though? Like the sleeves are a good length, the ruffle, the neck, everything. It's just, this is where it sits. And I just don't like that. This is what a size medium. As I said, even if I went to a large, I feel like it just wouldn't look right on me. And I wanted to love this one so much. All right, much. guys, so this next sweater, I am super, super, super obsessed with. At first glance, it looks a lot like the one that I just recently showed you that was right here, right? Sleeves are not bell sleeves, which is the first part, but wait till you see the back of this, guys. How cute is this lace down? Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with it. With a little bralette underneath of it. Right now, I just have a regular strapless bra people ask me all the time when i do these two what my favorite strapless bra is because i always do these videos with a strapless bra on because that way no matter what i'm wearing it'll work and you can see all the different ways to wear it um the one i wear i am in love with obsessed with i will link it below but this sweater guys is just it's so cozy and soft i just wish i had gotten this one in a different color now because i have two wine colored ones i loved all right, guys, last thing I wanted to talk about was the Spanx. Look at me now, leggings, seamless design. Um, I have their um, leather, pleather, whatever, liquid leather ones, and I decided to give these a try, but when I got them in, I just have other leggings that feel similar to this, so I'm not even gonna take them out and try them on. I actually am just gonna return them and exchange them, probably for another pair of the leather ones because I love those ones so much. Actually, I think I just might return these because I don't even think I need another pair of leather ones because I have those great BP ones also. So just wanted to show you, I picked these up in a medium, but I think they're going back. They're very similar to my Zella and um, who's the other brand that I love? The Alo, I think it is, leggings. So I'm sticking with those. 